Hey y'all, Tara Nolmandara's developer advocate at Pantheon. We'll be discussing three helpful tips for using your Pantheon site with Lando. Tip number one, always use the Pantheon recipe when starting your site. One of the great advantages of Lando is that it has all kinds of tooling and scripting, including recipes. Now, you may see that there's an option to start a Drupal site or a WordPress site and assume that you should be using that to get your Lando site started. Instead, start out by creating your site on the Pantheon platform and then pulling that site down to your local computer using Lando's interactive prompts. There is specialized scripting for the Pantheon platform that is enabled with the Pantheon recipe. Tip number two. Use Lando Switch when working with multi-dev environments. You can switch between different Git branches on your local machine, but did you know that using the Lando Switch command, you can actually switch your environment between different Pantheon multi-dev branches? By default, the database for that multi-dev will be pulled down. There is a switch that you can enable on the command line that will stop it from doing that. But this is very helpful for if you're working on a feature and you want to push or pull from that specific multi-dev environment. If you haven't tried the Lando switch command with multi-dev environments yet, give it a try. Tip number three, get familiar with terminus commands. One of the most powerful components of Lando's Pantheon recipe is that it allows you to interact with terminus from your Lando container. Now, yes, you can run terminus commands outside of that. However, when you are running a Lando terminus command, it acts inside of that container and has the context of the site that you're working with. There are several very helpful commands that exist. You've got your terminus drush command that will allow you to clear all your caches on your Drupal 7 site. You can do remote drush commands. You can even do an environment deploy command. Now, there's a whole list of different terminus commands that you can use but there are also some Terminus plugins that can be enabled once you install them. So by default, Lando only installs Terminus proper commands. However, you can add Terminus plugins to your Lando file within a build step. And we've linked some documentation for that in case you're interested. Alrighty y'all, those are my three tips for using Lando's Pantheon integration with your Pantheon site. Do you have any that you'd like to share? Leave them in the comments below. You can also leave them in our Pantheon Slack community. Until next time, see you later.